In this video, I'm going to show you how to create digital product mockups in Canva. This is useful if you want to create professional images to promote your online courses or digital products. This video was made using a free version of Canva so anybody can do it. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, you wanna open up Canva, then create a custom size, size it how you want. I'm just going to create a square 1000 by 1000. Once that opens up, what you want to do is to go over to the left hand side where it's got elements. If you hover over elements, then click on frame. This is what we're going to use to create the mockups. Anything you, anywhere you see this graphic, you can insert a picture into it. So what I'm going to do is search for devices because I want to show that it's a digital product. And then I can just drag in any of these images. So I'm just gonna have this monitor as the main image. Then I'm going to drag in a laptop image. I'm also just going to resize that. Here, now I want an iPad. So I'm going to put that in there as well. I'm just gonna resize that so it looks a bit more realistic. And then I'm just going to control C and control V to paste that in there. And then paste another one in there like that. These are a bit big, so what you can do is just resize them. Let me just drag these down so I can highlight all three and then just resize them so they look a touch more realistic. And then drag that. There, now we have a bundle of devices. We need to add an image to it. So if you go over to your uploads and upload an image, I've pre-uploaded some images here. So I'm just going to drag in some pre-made graphics. You simply just click and drag it over the uh, mock-up and it will populate the mock-up. Now, as you can see, this edge is kind of cut off there. So what you can do is double click it and then just drag it sideways and then that would get it centered correctly. I'm also going to upload an image of a website I created and drag that. Again, if you double click and drag it down, you can frame it correctly. So I'm just going to do that three times for these three iPads. I'm going to show off the product page and then I'm going to show off the footer. I'm going to double click this and show the back of the website. Now, that looks good, that's a basic start. What I want to do is just add a, add a slightly better effect. So I'm just gonna add a shadow underneath each one. So I'm going to click on elements, click on all, and then I'm going to click on shadow. Anything with the crown is a pro version element, so you will need to pay to use those. I'm just going to scroll along until I find a free one. This shadow looks good. I'm just going to click and drag that onto the page. Let me resize that so it just matches that element there. I'm going to tap it up a touch. And again, I'm going to do that for the iPads as well. Make sure it's roughly the same size. And I'm going to copy and paste that there. And then I'm going to just dodge that over a bit. Now, in order to do the one at the back, I'm just going to push this through the middle. If you push it over the frame, it would replace the image you have. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to push it there. But you might not be able to tell, but this shadow goes above this front iPad. What I want to do is push that to the back. So if you right click it, hover over layer and then click center back, it will push it to the back. Now I just need one more shadow for the monitor so I just click that there again right click layer center back it looks like it's floating oh, I'm gonna push it right underneath so it looks like it's actually touching whatever it's on so let me push these up actually so that would look a touch better but you can play around with it as much as you want now this is a bundle for an online course 
what I also bundle with the course is some ebooks, and so I want to add in some mock ups of ebooks in order to find good 3D images of ebooks. What you need to do is click on apps down here and then scroll down until you find mock ups. So click on mock ups, and here you've got lots of realistic mock ups that you can use to create your bundle image. I'm just going to use a print one and scroll down. Let me find a nice ebook style one. I think I'll probably use this one. So if you just click, you'll drag it onto the page. So I'm just going to resize this, make it touch bigger actually, and then stick it there. And again, right click, layer, center back because I want that at the back. Now I'm just going to duplicate that a few times because I have multiple books that I'm going to include and it's just going to crown the monitor. Okay, I'm going to try and highlight all of these, right click, layer, center back. You can use the shortcut as well but I just like to highlight all of those. I'm going to now leave that one there. That, that's, fine. that's fine. Again, now what you need to do is just click and drag the ebook covers onto the mock ups. So I've got this Canva crash course. I'll put that on here. Canva chat GPT profit blueprint a marketing roadmap. Again, you can just drag them on and they'll load up one at a time. Oops, I think I dropped that onto the monitor, but that's okay. Let me drag that onto the back one and then um, Instagram mastery. I don't think I've done that one. So let that load up now. You can see these eBooks are populated with the graphic. As you can see here, the C is cut off. What you can do is if you double click it, you can adjust the size. So I'm just going to make that smaller and then bring that into the center. Now I'm not too concerned that the bottom is not visible. Um, so I don't mind having a small gap there. So I'm just going to apply the changes. And as you can see, that would center it a bit more. This one again, you can see faceless is cut off. So I'm just going to click, double click on it, drag it down and then click apply changes. So there, you get the idea. You can add as many uh, frames as you want. This is a bundle image for a digital product. Again, if you click on mockups, you'll be able to see lots of different styles. I actually like this 3D image of a mobile phone. I'll throw that in there as well. The good thing about these 3D mockups compared to just the usual frames is that the 3D mockup actually changes the angle of the mockup so it looks realistic within the frame. So I'll just show you that now. If I drag that in there, it adjusts the X, Y, Z angle to make it look good. So let me double click that again. Let me drag that down, click apply. And as you can see, it doesn't look quite straight. So I'm just going to straighten it there. There, that looks a uh, it looks a touch better and again you can add a shadow for that put that in there and then adjust the angle like that so it actually looks like it's the shadow of the phone again you can play with it as much as you want to show how 3d it is well there you go this is a simple mock-up what i want to do is change the background color I like a, a little gradient here. Actually, I want to bring it down and you can simply just add a title if you want. So I'm going to add a heading here and just say, grow your online business. Double click on it, make it white or make it gray. And then again, Copy and paste that, and then you could say something like everything you need for 
47 47 dollars for example you can price it how you want and you can use this on your product pages you can use this in meta ads you can use this on etsy product listings wherever you want to sell this image now if you want this super basic design what i'll do is i'll put a link to it in the description but you can easily make this yourself if you want more professional designs i'll include a link to over 1000 professionally designed mock-ups where you can just click and drag the image into those mock-ups and they're ready to go again click the link in the description to download that 